family? Hey, what's up with it? What's up? What it look like? <laughs> wow, it's been a minute since I've been on here, right? Well, I've been good. I've been really, really good. Um, let me give you guys a date and shit on what it is right now. It is... Shit, it ain't showing on there. Hold up. It is... October the 14th, and it's 6.58 in the p.m. And y'all not even understanding that. It's a rare occasion right now. My kids are, everybody's gone. My daughter had to go to work. Anthony's going to work. And Isaiah had a game tonight, um, an away game. And so mama set out on this one. And I'm sitting here trying to go through my clothes, trying to figure out um, what I'm going to wear for the Taste of Soul tomorrow. Now, um, my um, kids are having a, a get-together and some cousins and friends and stuff are going to be here at my house tomorrow. And they're going to do their thing and going to cook and, you know, kind of kick it around and all that kind of stuff. And mommy's getting up and I'm going to uh, the Taste of Soul. Now, I do got to take my daughter to work because she has to be to work in the morning at 10 o'clock. And, um... The Taste of Soul this year starts at 11. And so it's shorter than it usually be because usually it's like from 11 to 7. And so this time it's from 11 to 5. So I don't know. And usually I'm down there at the, um, at the wave stage, which I will be down there for the wave stage to go see my boy Steven of Troop. And they're going to perform at 4 o'clock. So I'm going to go down there to go check my boy out. And then, but before that, um, 112 um, and Jasmine Sullivan are the main ones that I want to go see over there at the um, KGLH stage. So I'm going to go in between. And um, also, Head Crack is going to be there. And so I'm going to holler at him for a minute. And so, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to hope, go have me a good time. You know, go see some of you guys and get up with y'all and take some pictures and hearty, heart, heart and all that old type of shit. And then I'm going to bow my ass on back because I want to check my girl out tomorrow night. Her film is coming out. Um, Michelle A um, is uh, having her, uh, you know, her side of the story is going to be on Lifetime tomorrow night. So I really want you guys to check that out straight out of Compton. That's how we doing it, baby. <laughs> so... Anyway, but first I wanted to, um, well, not so much as first, because this is what this shit is going to be about. But first, let me tell y'all what it's going to be, okay? So in case Clyde and uh, Ernest and all of them, they might not want to kick it on this one. Because right now, you see I'm raggedy, I'm toe up, you know what I'm saying? Got some shorts on and, you know what I'm saying? Just got me a big tee on. And um, so um, I'm going to go through some of the things that I bought here um, within the past uh week and I'm going to show you guys and we're going to talk about some shit and show some shit and just catch up on some shit shall we we shall so first before I get started without further ado go look I went to my favorite store now y'all already know this is my favorite spot in the whole wide world and at my the one that I go to um I can't give all out the name and all that old type of shit but um uh, one of the managers, um, me and him, you know, are really, really cool. And so he texts me from time to time and say, Tina, when you coming back up to the store? So he texts me and the other day and he said, T, come up here. As soon as he said, T, come up here, I already knew what it was. Okay. So I got up there and this is what I got. Now to go to the Rams games, you have to have a clear bag. So... I got me a clear Dooney and Burt bag. How cute is this? This is just some plastic that just cling to, to the plastic. But it's brand new. It's never been used. You can see the leather. The patina hasn't even kicked in on the leather at all. And to go to a Rams game, you have to have all your contents inside of a clear bag like this. Um, and they also sell them at the stadium and stuff. To whereas, you know, you can't take... Your regular purse is in there. You got to have clear ones, something like this. And so I'm like, okay, cool. So when I go to the game, you know, I don't have to be worried about, you know, my stuff anymore. Now I could just, you know what I'm saying, I could do it like this right here. 
and um, I got my own little bag to roll with. How cute is that? And this was no other than $12.99. Now, on Mondays, it's military day, so it's $15, I mean, excuse me, 15% off, okay? So, um, I ended up paying less than $44 for everything. Now, and look at this little doll face. Do you see this little purse right here? Why is it cute to be? I mean, I know that it's little, but it's just so cute. And my daughter was like, Mom, that's too little for me. So my daughter didn't want it. So I was like, okay, well, fine. I'll keep it myself. But look how cute it is. Look at the patina. Oh, my God. And this was with a wallet, okay? This was $29.99. Very, very good quality, good condition. Look at the inside. Check that out. Real, real good quality. And it has like little um, compartments like, yeah, I'll be able to put my, the wallet in the center. And it has like um, a thing where you can put your phone at. It also has a pocket. Um, I can hang my keys from this guy right here. How cute is this? So I got, and then the wallet. Check that out. Okay. And the wallet, mind you, the wallet is so cute. Oh, my God. It got all kind of compartments and shit in it. Check that out. And um, my Goodwill that I go to, very, very good donors. And it's all about the donors, the people that donate the stuff. That is where you get the good stuff from. You know, if you, if you live in a decent area um, and the donors that frequent there or donate there are, you know, have some, you know, some decent things. Um, that's where you get the good stuff at. And so he charged me $9.99 for the wallet. So all together with my military discount, I paid like thir uh, $43 and some change, no tax. And isn't that just cute? Oh my God, it's just cute. So I was like, okay, with some jeans, I'm rocking this with just uh, jeans and a little tank top. Like when I go to my son's game or whatever, and I've just got some little stuff. Cause I always take this with me. Wherever I go, um, this is the Orange Bang from AMPM, the lick, okay? So, but while I'm rocking this right here and in there for I can roll with this right here, because I will probably be having that at the Taste of Soul tomorrow, just depend. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I got this this past Monday at the Goodwill. My boy hooked me up. Thank you, baby. You give me the best stuff all the time. I just, and I just, I just adore you. You respect the fact that I got a man in my life and you like, you know, I can't be your man and like that, but can I be your friend? You could be my friend, baby. You could be my friend. Yeah. So anyway, so, and also I got me another pair of Versace glasses and these ones are green rim glasses. The rim on these are green. And these were $9.99. And, uh, yeah. So, but when I got those, and I got these, though, last Monday, the previous Monday. You guys, I just haven't been on, so you guys had not seen it. And I got two bottles of Amazing Grace. And they were $5.99. I got one in my purse, and I have one just up here to where I just spritz from time to time. But, yeah. So, yeah. Okay? So, the donors that come to mind is bomb. So that's just what it is. Um, the other night, um, when I went to my baby's uh, screening, and it was it was really really nice. It was a nice turnout and everything else. And um, you guys seen that I came on and I had on white. Well, these were the pants that I have on. One of my my new favorite stores. Like last week, I was telling you guys, but y'all was having a real emotional. Uh, moment last week. See, y'all don't know, but on my Facebook, you know, I'm real personal with you guys. We talk about all kind of shit up under the sun, all kind of stuff, and I'm constantly updating you guys as to what's going on. Now, I haven't really been on this week. I haven't even been on here at all because I just been going on, going through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Not bad shit, just going through some shit, and sometimes I don't need to be sharing those things. You know what I mean? So, if I'm doing something that I can't really share, it's best that I don't say shit because Tina be talking, okay? And so, to therefore, to keep me from saying more than what I should, it's best that I don't say nothing and just back on out the way. So, but anyway, while I was doing my shopping last week, um, I ran up on the store called Windsor. Oh, my God. See, look, coming from where I come from, I didn't really do a lot of the mall shopping. I just didn't. I began to make my own clothes because 
you know, after going so so many times growing up and you don't fit in, you can't fit everything. You used to buying a lot of socks, shoes, accessories, watches, rings, and you know what I'm saying? Badass earrings, but you can't fit the clothes in there. And see, growing up, my mama had a learner's charge card, and we used to go to learners all the time at the Lakewood Mall. And see, back in the day, your mom can give you your card and tell you to go shopping, and then she just come and, you know, pick me up after I got done or whatever for me and my sisters. Well, my sister, Glenda, could wear a lot of, um, you know, learner's clothes. Her and my sister, her and my other sister. But they could wear the stuff, but I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't really, you know, when it was my turn to go to learners, to go shopping and stuff, I couldn't really wear that shit. I just, I was too big, you know? So, um, I just kind of got away from the mall. So, I never bought anything, but that, when I bought that swimsuit for, from Forever 21 here, what was that, about a month ago when me and baby was going to, um, Vegas and stuff. So, I had went there, and that was like the first time I ever bought anything from Forever 21, last month. Go figure, right? So, and so now, um, just here last week, I was going and getting ready for the screening. So, I was like, okay, I got to get me something to wear, but I want to be covered up. You know, got to be respectful, you know, and all that old type of shit. So, um, while I was in the mall, um, I got me some badass jumpsuits. When I tell you I got some jumpsuits hanging up in my closet right now, look, I want to go to me a masquerade ball this uh, Halloween I got this jumpsuit that's so, oh my God, it's so off the chain. I didn't even want to bring it out here and show y'all right now because the Nair 4 is going to fuck it up. So when I come on here and show y'all what time it is with it, the Nair 4, your mouth going to hit the ground when I tell you it's all, let me just say that it's all lace, lace all the way. Yeah, it zips up the back, and when I tell you that it is, oh my God, it fits me like a glove. Now, mind you, I bought a size large because that's all they had. So, I am going to dart it at the back at the waist. Um, Shout out now, I do weigh 180 Point six pounds. Shout out to your motherfucking partner. Yeah, so I weigh 180.6 now. Uh, it's not like I'm really trying, but it's just a fact. I think it's more so of the sauna. Um, that, um, I'm beginning to lose more inches. Um, uh, my waist is around 27 and some change. So, you know, go figure. I don't know. My hips are 42. I don't know. So, um, I'm 30, I'm a 34. I don't have no bra or nothing right now, but I'm a 34, um, double F, um, cup. My waist is a 27 and some change and my hips are, a, a 42. So that's what it is. And so I bought these pants um, that I had wore to the premiere when I had showed you guys um, for the screen. I had on all white. I had these pants on right here. These were the pants that I wore. And these were also a size large. There's no stretch to them. I have the alarm on. So if somebody opened up the door, some shit going to ring off. Um, but there's no stretch to these pants whatsoever. But they're very, 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 very long. And they're like skimming the ground. Oh my God. I got these pants for $9.99 on clearance. And when I tell you I love these pants, I love the way they fit, everything about them. Now, the pants that I'm going to wear tomorrow, I also got them from Windsor. But I got to take these in because these are also a large. These are also a large, and but these are bigger. And so, because these... These got a little bit of stretch in the bot in, in the you know hip part, but and even in the waist it needs to be taken in just a little bit. And these were also on clearance for um um the clearance was ha half off of whatever the clearance tag is. So these were twenty eighty seven. So they was ten dollars and forty three cents or so. Um, and these are also long, but I'm going to wear these tomorrow to the taste of soul, but I'm going to pair them with, um, this bodysuit right here. I'm going to pair it with this. And it's just simply a bodysuit. And I'm going to pair this with this and I'm going to wear these pants right here but I'm going to after I get off of here with you guys I got to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair because I am going to change the game up on that and I'm going to take these pants and um, I need to wash this bodysuit so I'm going to probably wash the pants too because they do have like a spot on them okay I'm 
that's not a hysterical bark. Cause